Hi everyone, it's Christy Wilbur here with uh, Kit Herring and Optical Illusion videos. That's the sixth uh, video. Um, uh, it's a series of eight and we're gonna put them together. Once I'm done with all eight of them, I'll put them all together and see, see if they can make one very big cool design. Okay, so this one I called the twist, the swirl. I don't know what's the best name of it. I think originally whoever made this design, whoever came up with it, um, they were inspired by um, Vazarelli. We're gonna talk about Vazarelli in our next video. Uh, Victor Vazarelli, he is the father, they call him the father of optical illusions. Uh, and his very first, Vasily Kandinsky's very first optical illusion was made in 1930 and it's called Zebra. And these are exactly the colors of, of his design called Zebra. And actually the stripes are pretty much the same. So, of course I'm making my 8x8 eight eight space and unlike most of my other designs this one uh, is all about curves the other ones were about about straight lines this one is about curves and I don't even know if that's easier or more difficult uh, so I'm gonna try to make the circle as good as I can make a circle without using any help I'll just try the circle to touch the four corners of it of the of my workspace okay so that's the base Clean up a little bit here. <clears throat> so that's how we started. Now I'm, I have to figure out what kind of direction I want my swirl to have. So pretty much I want it to be maybe right here. My swirl is going to go around this side and uh, you can make this this space thicker or thinner. It's just up to you how you want to do it. But just for the sake of starting from somewhere in this madness, in this twisted madness, I think I'm going to go with that big. <clears throat> and I will start from right here that's going to be the first one i'm going to apply and i'm not done yet there are so many areas that i really want to darken and clean the sides of but that's that's good for now um so i'm gonna start with this one so it all goes like this and swirls like this it's thicker the line the, the black line is thicker here and gets thinner further I go. So we're going to decide that it right here is the very beginning of the swirl. Next one is going to be this one here. And my third one is going to be right here. I will slightly for now darken these lines simply because I will have so many lines I'll get confused what's light and what's dark so that's why I'm gonna just start with this very light um, shading of it this one right here is very very thin And 
from here all the twists are starting and the logic with the twists is that they're thicker up here and they get same as uh, the other lines they're thicker up here and they get thinner further in they go and there's one more swirl inside this one thicker here thinner here Next, we'll start building the other side. So all the lines are curving in the other direction. Bigger here and they get smaller and smaller. Disappearing somewhere behind swirl right here. I'm not gonna have space for too many here so maybe I'll do one more and here is gonna be the very end of my swirl So pretty much that's one of the sides. We start right here, the next one. the very border we're gonna get this guy out so I can finish the whole thing next So I have one, two, three, four, four big lines here. going right here we're gonna start with the big 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 swirl up here the thickest again the thickest area is closer to the end to the edge
the curve is very important here that's one thing that you really be careful when you start making your own swirl make sure that you take your time and work precisely on this curve otherwise the illusion is not gonna be that realistic realistic illusion that's the whole paradox here we are making the illusion of dimension for something that's absolutely flat on the flat piece of paper we are making dimensional illusion and I have two more little ones that are kind of stuck down here same thing though the logic the bigger thicker area is right here and the very last one is in here Okay, so now when we have this, we need one more big swirling this way. Starts very small and gets way bigger. Okay. And we're not going to have space for so many here. Maybe only one I'll put right here in the middle. That's going to be enough. Okay, so now we have the whole thing built up. I'm not sure about this one. I think it needs to be a little more flat, not that curvy. So I'll start from here. Flatten it out a little bit. Okay, and now the whole darkening of, of the lines is starting. Obviously, I'm not going to have time to do all of them. But in a few minutes, I'll, I'll do just a few of them and, and I'll show you how to shade these areas in order to make it realistic. black color pencil particular project is all about contrast so again if you're working not with black and white but if you work with color make sure that that you have really really dark color and really light color if I was working with color I'll make yellow and very dark orange or dark blue
Although this one and the small one, and because I don't want these videos to be way too long, I'll start showing you the shading. And the little kid herring creature character. Okay. So you do the exact same thing everywhere. And once you're done with uh, darkening up all of these lines, I think they should be pretty dark, all of them the same way. Oops, that's a mistake. Okay, once you're done with all of them, uh, first I'm gonna start darkening right here. This area gets pretty dark. I will need my regular pencil for that. But uh, of course I can work with the color pencil, but I wanna keep the color pencil for, for the lines. So we shade a little bit right here, the one end of the swirl. I keep going down here. Again, shading, gradation, the same exact thing we we talk about in every single one of these projects. It's all practice. Practice, practice, practice. Practice your shading as much as you possibly can. And here, we're gonna go to kind of a light grays. side right here should be the darkest area that we have to separate right here. okay and on this side the shading is gonna start from here here going up inside here Here is gonna be. Um, it's not good to to leave it uh, very linear here. Your shading shouldn't be so linear. It should go in all direction, and I call this the dust of shading, when you can't really see the lines. It very gradually goes to the dark, but you don't see these lines and. And if I had more time, I would definitely work. I, I, I did a better job here than here. This is way too linear here. So try to do that in your work. Not to be linear, but to be kind of more the same dusty kind of substance not lines and you achieve this when you're going in different directions and my eraser can help me here too 
to get rid of the linear. And here, right here is going to be really, really dark. You can even start from pure black. You don't need any light in here. So once you make all of your lines black, it, it, it's just gonna have completely different feel. Here I work with too many grays and it doesn't look that well, but that's good. But once you have everything really dark, it's gonna be pretty good. Okay, so that's how you build the twist. And for this twist, um, I chose Kit Herring's um, Wolf, I call this guy. No, simply because I thought it's going to be funny if he's kind of um, doing something like um, uh, skateboarding into the twist. <laughs> Maybe that's what I'm going to add. I'm going to go, I'm going to go ahead and add a little skateboard on him. So, Kid Herring has a lot of human figures and a lot of creatures, different kinds of creatures. Um, it's funny that I didn't do, for any of, the, of these projects, I didn't do his Radiant Baby, which is his signature. But I just didn't think that the Radiant Baby fits in any of these projects. So I forgot to sharpen this yellow so I just do a little bit of color here. Don't want to spend the time sharpening it. needs a lot of coloring here to in, but it's okay. I'm gonna outline it really fast with my Sharpie. the little guys ready and he can be even right here going upside down into the swirl but uh, let's hope that's a good swirl uh, and he's gonna find a lot of cool stuff once he gets all the way in okay that's for now